Law enforcement is cracking down on unlicensed contractors since the hurricane. They've made 52 arrests and have dozens of pending cases. The Bay County Sheriff's Office calling it Operation Cuff. News 13's Kirsten Mitchell rode along as investigators tried to catch them in the act. That's very good. Investigators have zero tolerance for workers taking advantage of Hurricane Michael victims. We tagged along with Bay County Sheriff Corporal Dennis Rozier for a sting operation to catch illegal contractors in the act. Basically, we are calling contractors that we've already vetted and determined that they don't have a license and asking them to meet us at the house to give us an estimate on the roof. The first contractor arrives at the house thinking they're meeting with the homeowner to give a roof estimate. That homeowner is actually an agent. We're in place, we're next door. And we're parked nearby waiting for the agent to give us a signal when a deal is made. Uh, once they provide us an estimate, they are guilty of contracting without a license. But when we moved in, the suspect didn't fully enter a contract, so he was released. The uh, reason we do this is to make sure that we've got legitimate legit. people coming oh, out. Oh, we're totally legit. I promise. Then a few hours later, the next suspect arrives at the home and we get the signal. How you doing, sir? I'm Corporal Rozier with the Bay County Sheriff's Office. I run our financial crimes division. This contractor doesn't have a license and says he was working for another company that does, a tactic investigators see often. Here's the issue we have. He's not allowed to come out and give estimates and do contracting unless he himself has a license or unless he is on your payroll and is a W-2 employee. Corporal Rozier says a lot of out-of-state workers aren't aware of the license requirements. Under a state of emergency, it's a third-degree felony. You can ride with him. We're going to go up to the sheriff's office. Kirsten Mitchell, News 13, Panhandle Strong.